FDSA Feldriff is a non-profit organisation that started in 2007 feeding the people in the area. We were very fortunate that Clive von Groeningen came to us, he was from Mykonos, and started with assisting us. In 2011, he gave us money and trusted us enough to give us 200,000 to start with the first phase of FDSA. What a wonderful day that was. We built a kitchen, plus an outside toilet for it. He helped us putting everything in the kitchen. And then a year later, he gave us another 300,000 to complete first phase of our building. And then in 2013-14, we were fortunate enough to get another 600,000. An extra sponsor helped us to add a 400,000 to complete the one million we needed to finish this building that is now standing here, which is an absolute wonderful gift to God all the glory. Our biggest problem was children not going to school. Truancy. There's 80 of them. They can't read or write. And they need your help. Even now, when the building is done, we still need that continuous support because there's still a lot that needs to be done in this community. It has changed the area from absolute dirt and muck to people standing up and being proud. The children, when they come in the evenings, when we have ballroom classes, or they come to the uh, centre to do their homework, they don't want their parents here because it's their body. We've also got Auntie Māori that starts with the children twice a week, that does them with, uh, that gives them classes on spiritual development. Uh, they enjoy singing, they enjoy the togetherness, and it opens their hearts and leads them to where they strengthen their spiritual life. We've also got a library that the books got donated from a Rotary E uh, that we are using for the ECD. What we need is we need these children to start getting a love for reading because if they can read, they can go to school. They desperately need that because most of the children get kicked out of school because they can't read. And if you can't read, how on earth are you gonna sit still in the class and don't get naughty? Uh, drug abuse, that's the beauty of having this hall is that we can teach the children and keep them off the street where they can have fun. They come in the evenings, we've got a prayer hour uh, on Thursday evenings, and they come and they pray for the area. They don't want their parents there, because it's theirs. They are so jealous about this building and what it means to them. Then we've got the computer center, where the children can come and do their after daycare center for the school. Lunch times, the children come and have their food here. Uh, we're grateful because we've got the pots and the pans and everything so that we can feed these children. And it's given these children hope and a future. And that is what we're all working towards, is to give these children an absolute good adulthood. Might be our next president comes from here. How would we know? Thank you. My name is Yolanda. I am a social worker here at the centre. I started here quite, some, uh, quite a while back and um, my experience working in the centre has been absolutely wonderful. Um, I think there's, there's a great deal that we do for the, for the youth, especially in connection with all the social issues that the youth specifically face in the community, such as substance abuse. So the people access services at the centre that are here, which is social work services, they are able to come with their problems and we are able to help them. The centre is also here for not only the youth but the community at large and um, people are able to use facilities in the centre but the centre is a huge resource in the community where the youth especially can develop themselves and uh, they can have access to stimulation uh, resources to uh, develop themselves in reaching opportunities. One of the components that the centre also focuses or tr is trying to bring across the youth is a uh, focus on education and the, most of the facilities actually helps the children to have to partake in um, educational opportunities as well. I think what we must also mention is that we are grateful at um, Mykonos Casino 
for also offering us the opportunity and to actually form the center and not only us but the community at large is really grateful as it produces many more opportunities and we hope to work with them in more in future.